Hey everyone, welcome back to McFord's Garage. Uh, Tuesday night, and doing the lower ball joints. Um, I already dove into it and got the driver's side done before going, oh shit, I didn't film nothing. So, uh, going to go over, kind of show what I did, explain what I did on the passenger side. And when I'm done, I'll go over it again. Um, got the ball joints from Napa. And, uh, you know, there you go. There's the ball joint, gusher bearing, blah, blah, blah. Um, you know, decent hardware. It withstood the impact. I zipped the bolts down with the impact. Here's the old ball joint. Um, shop said there was a little bit of play in this one the right side was looser uh it's not horrible but you know what i trust joe and the last thing i want to do is take this in for the alignment and have the alignment shop go oh yeah your below or ball joints need to be replaced first so you know what we're doing them probably save the uppers for later the uppers are good so that may be a fall or winter project to do those um i got other stuff to get into on this before i do that so we'll walk around to the other side and click on the old handy dandy harbor freight rechargeable led light magnetic base this thing's freaking awesome i use the hell out of this until it dies. So, um, but basically, uh, the shot keeps this up far enough that really didn't have to put the jack underneath it. So, but took the cotter pin out, took the nut off, uh, probably five or six wax with the pickle fork, and it separated the uh, spindle from the lower control arm. Uh, what I did on the other side decided to try drilling up through the rivets to drill them out and you know i got some good bits fresh bits and it cut through pretty good um, got all the way through uh the one on this side so the more back one and man my shoulder was killing me my right shoulder um screwed up my shoulder probably I don't know 20 20 some years ago and uh, yeah just like when I was trying to put the gearbox up in there and get stuff aligned uh, shoulder was not happy so uh, the other side uh, took the cutoff wheel try and buzz through the top of the head and uh, the rivet didn't work well I got it cleared enough, could see where the center needed to be in the rivet. So hit it with the punch and uh, drilled through it from the top. Got it punched through, did the back side, got that punch through, pry bar, popped it off. And uh, new one went in, piece of cake. Uh, when I separated the ball joint, I did have to take my long pry bar, that long one there and pry up on the upper control arm to get it all the way off the ball joint. So when uh, I put it back together, had to do the same thing, had to pry up on the upper control arm to bring the spindle, control arm and spindle up to get it onto the ball joint. And uh, once I did that, I put the jack under the control arm to get the ball joint fully into the spindle, tighten the nut down as far as I could that way and then went after it with the 15 16 wrench and got it tightened down so i zipped the two ball joint bolts in with my impact wherever it is oh it's already on the other side of the car so uh zip that down and put about five pumps of grease in it don't want to blow the boot out so uh, next next side, and the ball joint goes in 
it goes up in from the bottom like so and then you put the boot on and you put this on on the top side so this goes on the top side this goes up from the bottom and this this triangulated part faces out it fits the uh, shape of the control arm on the bottom side put that over the top drop the bolts through put the nuts and washers on the bottom washers and nuts washers first then nuts folks and uh, zipped it down after I got it all together put the grease fitting in and uh, got it greased up so we're all good on the driver's side gonna do the passenger side uh, do a quick little clip to mash up with this one when I have it all apart and then a uh, quick one after I get it all together and before I put the wheel and tire on so stay tuned be back all right all right so we're back got the spindle off uh, you do not have to take your stabilizer links off these are solid I don't know winter project maybe I'll throw new ones on you don't have to take these off you don't have to undo this strut rod um, your shock holds this thing uh, holds it up you know I mean it doesn't hurt to have the jack under it for safety but the shock holds it up uh, stuck a pry bar up in here my long pry bar lift it up and it pulled this off of the ball joint after whacking it uh, with the pickle fork the old trusty pickle fork whacking it with the pickle fork about five or six times and it popped loose pry bar up under here lift this up and off and this out of the way I tore the boot off just uh, to make it easier for me to see uh, the other side we did the tried the drilling out the rivet method uh, using the cutoff wheel to kind of get in between here to cut through the rivet head uh, one of the guys at work loan me his grinder says, yeah, I don't have one. I'll be buying one, but I don't have one. And so this, this side, we are going to grind the rivet head off and see how that works. If it doesn't work well, I'll just take the center punch, make a mark in the center of the rivet and drill through and punch it out. So, uh, be back in a little bit with progress all right so progress got this one out uh, on the front side I tried using the grinder uh, got it down a ways ended up taking a drill drilling down into it some uh, got got it pretty far down with the grinder and with the punch and the sledgehammer knock that side through this side um, just because the spindle and everything, I ended up using the drill on this side and got it down pretty far and then was able to knock it through. Uh, this side definitely did have play in it. That is for sure. So here's a new ball joint. And I don't know if this thing's going to stay here so you can actually see or not. So. Hopefully, maybe not. Yeah, that kind of sort of works. So, uh, this one's got a glob of grease on the outside. So no, this will go up from the bottom. Boot sticks in here. And we'll go up over here. And we will stick this up in. And the spindle's actually in the way. Hopefully that doesn't knock the phone down.
through the other one washer one nut on the bottom side and just enough to get it started that'll work and we can go over to this side down here, take a nap, <laughs> just kidding, not really, uh, this one through, there we go, socket Going in the right direction. Go to the other side. Yes, I did clean the surface, top and bottom. There's no gunk in between. And let's get this one. Not set it to kill. Let's put it on two. and ball joint's good to go so there you go now I'll just grab the pry bar lift the upper control arm and spindle up and slide it on there so I don't know if the thing's going to stay or not we'll give it a shot maybe of course, I don't have any damn nothing to stick this to. Make it stay. Maybe that'll work. Don't know. Get that in on the right angle. bar in here Thank you. 
here. go and it's in there so now I will get the jack and the hell is the damn this phone is flipping all over the place I get the jack jack the control arm up so it's ball joints all the way in the spindle finger tighten the nut all the way down then tighten it the rest of the way with a wrench 15 16 and throw the caliper on had to pull the caliper off on this side because I did not have enough room to get in there to drill on this rivet the other side I did but uh, not this side so that's why the calipers off so I'll get this control arm jacked up get the nut on get her tightened up then we'll throw the caliper on put the grease fitting in and grease it throw the wheel on and lower ball joints are done back in a flash all right so we're back we're done and you can really see without the light here new ball joint see that from the bottom Greased and ready to go. I'm gonna put the wheel on, put her down on the ground, and call it a night. Go in, eat some dinner, even though it's getting kind of late, but whatever. And in case you've never seen ball joint blown apart that didn't actually break, when I was knocking out the last rivet, it actually knocked the bottom piece off left this stuck in the control arm um, so what you got here you got the bottom with your grease zerk you got your spring that goes in there here's your actual ball joint you got a washer and here's your I don't know, bearing, I guess you call it. So, that kind of, let's see if we can get this together here. These go together like this, and they get pressed together. So, thus, you have your ball joint. So, um, yeah. So anyways, going to put the other wheel on. Like I said, put it down and call it a night. I will clean up all my tools tomorrow when I get home from work. And, uh, well, yeah, so far, so good. Actually, if it's decent out when I get home tomorrow, we'll take it for a spin. Probably won't notice any difference driving it, but I can definitely tell the difference when turning it, turning the wheel. It's a little bit tighter, but... Anyways, imagination or not, I don't know. So, everyone, please like, subscribe, share the channel. Comments are welcome. Um, yeah, just a regular old car dude working in his garage like most of us do, working on our hot rods or muscle cars and such. So, hopefully this helps someone out. You know, if it does, that's awesome. Um, mostly doing this to just kind of track along bringing this car back to life but now with the ball joints in the steering gear has been done pitman arm now I can get it scheduled up for a wheel alignment and get that handled front end is done one of the last big major projects um, still got the hood to do the roof to do Sand the roof down so it's not rusty. Um, got a plan for that. Gonna 
spray it with the Dupacolor aerosol spray and bed liner it's you know it's not super thick it's got a texture to it so kind of look like a vinyl top we'll throw the trim back on um, the hood gonna sand it down spray the hood it's not gonna match perfect but you know what the whole rest of the car is varying shades of faded brown so and uh, got to get the glass guy out to do the back glass and hopefully the interior guy will be ready to go in the next week or so so I can get the upholster done get the back glass done those are the next two big things I want to get done after finishing the alignment so anyways have a great night everybody see you next time